Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be teaching you about amortization as we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos. I'll give you the actual definition, show you an example, and maybe even take it a step further and give you some actual uh, insight, a little bit deeper insight into the actual terminology and the use of it. Uh, amortization indicates how much of an intangible asset's value has been used up. It's important that you note this is an intangible value we're talking about, an intangible asset we're talking about. If it were a tangible asset, we'd be talking about something completely different. Uh, for tax purposes, businesses can deduct the cost of the intangible assets they purchase as business expenses. However, businesses must amortize these assets in accordance with IRS rules about how and when the deductions may be taken based on what the asset is and how long it will last. Amortization is used in accrual basis accounting to try to match the expenses of an asset to the income that the asset helps the company to create or earn. The most common method of amortization is the straight line method. Let me break out the old tools here. And this is the formula right here. You use the cost of the, the asset, total cost. You subtract any salvage value. And typically when you're talking about amortization, you're talking about intangible assets. And therefore, you're actually not going to have a salvage value. It'll be zero here. So it would just be the cost of the asset minus zero would leave you this number that you would divide by the useful life of the asset you're talking about. Let's look at an example right quick. Okay, here we are looking at just some random fictitious example here. Let's say the company XYZ goes out and they buy a license to do business in some particular country or some particular province and it's a cost of $5,000. They take the cost, the total cost, and you have the salvage value, zero. Think about it in the terms of the license. The license gives you the right to do business, let's say, for a useful life of five years. At the end of that five-year period, what is that license going to be worth? Zero. You can't resell it. You can't do anything with it. There's no salvage value. That's why you have zero as a salvage value. And again, typically when you're uh, talking about intangible assets, the salvage value will be zero. Uh, and amortization is only referring to intangible assets. The math would be simple. be $5,000 minus the uh, salvage value, leaving you with $5,000. You would divide this number by the useful life of the asset. Five years would mean you would amortize this $1,000 every year. Okay, now we're looking at Google Finance. I'm going to show you where to find this actual information if a company is amortizing anything. You will be able to find it on the income statement. Here we are looking at the Intel Corporation income statement. We're going to roll on down here to operating expenses, move on down there, show you what we're looking at here. And right below the gross profit, you start to get the operating expenses. Here's the gross profit. Let me get up the tools again. Da, da, da. All right. Here's your gross profit, and then below that you start getting to the operating expenses. And down there you'll get depreciation and amortization. They're lumped together. Depreciation, of course, would be uh, intangible assets, and amortization would be referencing intangible assets. You'll notice on this particular um, income statement, you can see that they have $78 million or actually being um, amortized or depreciation because in this case you're looking at both uh, lumped together. Uh, and again on this case I want to show you that if you actually scroll over and look at previous years you will find that those numbers are not going to be uh, identical from one year to the next. 78 million, 81 million, the 72 million, I can go further back and it shows 76 million and then again 76 million the year after that. Uh, basically the, the reason for that is that companies are going to go out and they're going to uh, uh, actually acquire uh, new, uh, well if we're talking about amortization, new licenses and, and new uh, patents and things like that. Uh, this is going to increase the amortization when they do that. And that also, also as an amortization is reached and you get to the end of your period of amortization for something that reaches its uh, useful life is over, uh, it will fall off of the amortization uh, that you're pulling out every single um, period. So that's another reason to look at it and say, okay, that, that's why those numbers are going to vary. Uh, another thing to note here about the depreciation and amortization, this is money that the company is basically paying back to itself. And typically, they're going to pay it to themselves and have it on the sidelines there so that they can replace the asset when its useful life is ex uh, expired. So when they need to replace uh, the license to continue doing business there, they have the money already set aside. Later on we'll talk about EBITDA and we'll show you how companies will actually try to use this money to increase their debt leverage um, by saying look at all this money we have in our books. In reality this money is just temporarily sitting there. The reality is they're going to have to use this money to replace 
a lot of their assets uh, intangible and tangible. They won't all be replaced, but many times they will. And so this is something that an area that you will see creative uh, accounting used from. Uh, they'll be basically looking at the fact that they have this money on, on their books and they'll say, well, we can use this for a while and we don't need it just yet. You can get in trouble doing that and that's something you need to learn to watch out for in the future. But right now, if you're looking for whether or not your company is uh, marking off any depreciation or amortization in one period to the next, uh, you can simply find it on the income statement and now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.